hey babes i'm back with another video so i just wanted to show y'all my process that i do before i actually film these videos for y'all so i'm just shampooing my hair with my favorite Mio organic products honestly all of their products are great so i'm just going to be giving a nice lather and just really getting the scalp and just getting it nice and clean and then i like to go on with their hair milk and it has like avocado in it and then after the hair milk i like to go in with their leave-in conditioner and I just like to really, really get that through my head. And I've seen the comments. My hair is nice and healthy. And I've been transitioning for over a year, okay? So now I'm actually now just going to be applying their growth oil throughout my scalp and just massaging. I actually pray over my head as well. I think you should too. And then I like to just massage that through. And then I'm going to be going in with my bio silk. And then with the bio silk, we're just going to get that all throughout the head and we're going to be using that as a heat protectant. So we're going to be blow drying the hair upward because today we are doing a soft texture kinky straight ponytail. It's going to be such a cute look for like a date night, girls night out. You might have a quick event. You want to do something simple or something that you can understand. So now we're just going to put our hair into a guide ponytail. I'm leaving out my edges because my edges are naturally fine and I am working on growing them. And we're going to be going in with our black beeswax by Mary's. And we're going to be applying that around the perimeter of the entire head. This is great for someone who may have fine edges, honestly may have, you know, close to no edges or, you know, you can have all the edges possible. You know what I mean? But I just like to use this um, for my soft and textured ponytails because this is going to create a soft but firm hold. So going in with my rat tail comb, my fine tooth carbon comb, we're just going to be combing and guiding. And then I'm going to be using my soft bristle brush and we're going to be brushing the hair up, getting it as slick as possible. And then I'm going in with some of my Eben Black Edge Control, and we're gonna be slicking that up as well. After that, I like to go in and actually spray with like some got to be, and then we're gonna be blow drying that on the cool setting, okay? Use a cool setting. I had to throw in my blow dryer today, y'all. As you can see, the back is gone, but I love my blow dryer. But we're gonna be going in with our edge effect, and I'm just gonna be, as you can see, just kind of slicking up more so closer towards where I'll be putting my ponytail together, only because my natural hair isn't that long, and sometimes they can kind of like not all go into the ponytail. So if you're having this issue, I say, you know, try this method. So now we're getting a nice and slick pony. And then I'm just going back in. This is optional, y'all, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting that really full, all black, sexy, top pony, full look, if you know what I mean. Now going in with my Sebastian spray, I'm just gonna be spraying right quick, and then I'm gonna be spraying a layer of got to be spray. And now folding my strips, I'm going to be placing those around my ponytail. I did like three strips, and then we're gonna blow dry on a cool setting as well. So you're gonna leave this on the whole time while you do your ponytail. Now going in with my wax, just to stretch out my ponytail, I'm just gonna be braiding my ponytail down. and then securing it with a rubber band. Using another strip, you're gonna fold it to get it nice and firm, hold it in place, and we're just gonna wrap. You're gonna wrap a couple times at the base and then work your way up and then back down. And then we're gonna glue that baby in place. And then we're gonna blow dry it. Again, we're just gonna apply some glue on top grab another piece and now we're going to go ahead and cover the rest of the braid everybody's ponytails are going to be different by the way if your hair is longer than mine you're going to have a longer pony go ahead and secure it and then again we're going to blow dry it now i'm going to be going in a little bit with my even edge control and i'm just going to be slicking just that those little hairs that are going into the ponytail and i'm just going to be tucking 
Now I'm going in with a couple of my super large rubber bands and we're just gonna make sure that this paper is in place and then we're gonna do one right there in the middle. So I'm gonna be using my 26 inches and my 24 inch bundles from my last Kinky Straight video. Using my hair glue, I'm just gonna be tracing just a portion of the first part of my track. This is just gonna be like the anchor. So we're gonna start at the tip, hold it in place, and we're gonna wrap. This is just to help us get started, make sure that it's in place, and you wanna keep it nice and tight. Now we're gonna blow dry, and then now we're gonna just be applying a generous amount of glue just in the front, and we're going to wrap. You're gonna wrap all the way down. Take your time. Make sure that your tracks are being placed really, really close together. And that when you are wrapping, that you're doing like a light little tug to make sure that it's nice and tight onto the braid. The papers are intended, I've seen comments below, the papers are intended to protect your hair from glue sleeping through and no glue should be on your hair when you take this out. And so we're just gonna keep on wrapping. And then that very last piece, we're just gonna trace ourselves and you wanna be really careful and keep it on the last track. You don't supposed to be gluing this last part onto your hair. Blow dry it. All right, and now we're going in with the 24 inch, keeping it double, and my large hairpins. What you're gonna do is keep it double, grab that hairpin, and literally just put it right through. Okay, now using that straight pin, you're gonna make sure that when you are applying it, you wanna press up and not down. Your hairpin should not be going down and hitting the middle of your ponytail because that's gonna be painful. So you're just gonna wrap and then apply a bobby pin. I only did this, I wanna say maybe like four times. And now we got our kinky straight pony. While my camera is charging, I went ahead and did a little face, just some brow, lip, and a little lash. So now we're just gonna be grabbing a piece from the back. We're actually gonna be doing two pieces, but we're gonna grab our first piece first, and we're gonna go ahead and wrap. Nice and secure, not too tight. We're not trying to have a headache here. And then we're gonna grab another piece, and then we're gonna wrap again. That way we have a full and even thick band going around for our ponytail. Going in with our got to be spray, you want to hold it in place, and then we're going to spray one more time a nice amount. And we're going to blow dry on high heat, and you're just going to make sure that it is guided and molded. Going in my Sebastian spray, I'm going to be using this as my styling spray. It's not crunchy, it's just like a nice hold. But with this kinky straight hair, I'm um, in a lot of kinky straight hair. It doesn't hold curls like crazy, but it will, of course, like the next day or so, kind of give you like a nice wave. It's a little time consuming, but nothing too crazy at all, depending on the type of wand curl that you have, honestly. And being that I am wand curling like 26 inch and 24 inch hair, now this is an option if you want to create like a cute little bang i'm just going to fold my track and then i'm going to fold it one more time and then we're going to be using our straight pins and you're going to make sure of course when you're pinning that you're pinning it upward and not downward spray a little bit with our sebastian spray and add you some wand curls so you can have you a fun bang
I wanted my bangs to be fuller, so I went ahead and actually did another piece. right I'm just making sure that my pony is giving me all the volume that I am going for so you can wear it like this with a cute little side bang that is detachable so now you got a pony with a bang add a little gloss add some holding spray and this style y'all I just love me some super big hoops like now I look like I'm about to go on a date or a girl's night out. It's just so cute and it's really comfortable. See? Simple. Remove your bangs and if you want to rock out just a pony like this, you can. I'm just going in and just kind of adding a little bit more volume at the top. And I'm just using my wand curlers to help keep the hair in place as to where I want it to fall. Touching up a few of my little curls. And there you have it, ladies.